A stakeholders meeting was called at the instance of the governor, which had in attendance heads of security agencies, community leaders, Fulani Ardos, and chairman of the local government areas affected. The police commissioner said the leaders of the communities involved have refused to cooperate with security agencies to produce three suspects identified to be behind the recent attacks. We have a suspect. We are looking for three other suspects, which no one has been able to produce for us, despite my appeal to those people that, uh, uh, that I expect to cooperate with us. The police commissioner faulted the roles leaders in the communities have played so far in fueling the latest attacks. Security agents have resolved that no matter how they please, no matter how they please that person is, we are going to ensure that peace returns to this state. We cannot continue this kind of situation. A visibly angry Governor La Long, unsatisfied with the explanation of the police commissioner, ordered the arrest of community leaders and Fulani Ardos until perpetrators of the latest attacks are arrested. If you have not made any arrest, all the Ardos and the community leaders should be in the cell. I will handle the rest. All of you, all the Ardos, you know what to do. We cannot continue to have fights like this and say we are not making arrests. If it's community leaders, you know those who did it. The governor warned that he will not allow the security situation to degenerate any longer under his watch in Plateau State. Nobody is more than government. You have communities there. You have arrows there. You have community leaders. I want all of you to be in the cell. I'm not going to take anything. I will not take it again. Because if it continues like this here, it will move to all other parts of the north. A total of 35 people have been killed in the span of two weeks by suspected herders in Mango and Bocos local government areas of Plateau State. From just the Plateau State capital, Samson or Male for News Blaze.